let's talk a little bit about the reinforcement physical shape or structural shape you have four approved shapes as burst magna the first shape is an l shaped angle the second shape is a hat section or inverted u section the third shape is a framing channel or slotted channel and the fourth shape is z shaped channel these reinforcement approved shapes have dimensions the following dimensions given here by the letters you can obtain these dimensions from the tables obtained in smacna for rectangular duct reinforcement as we can see these tables are shown here in smacna for example the l angle the z shape the hat shape and there is the reinforcement class which we have spoken about earlier and this is the angle details on the channel or z channel details on the hat section so from these tables obtained in smacna you can get the reinforcement details you can also see the rigidity class you can see all the details on these tables from smacna here there is some notes mentioned in smacna that other structural shapes may be used for external reinforcement when equivalent effective stiffeners rated ei can be demonstrated as we can see also there are some notes on the above here on the high the top side of the right part of the screen c table 229 for reinforcement class rating for angles channels or hat sections c table 230 for framing channel rigidity class equivalents Reinforcements to be attached to duct wall with screws, rivets, or wells 2 inch maximum from the ends and spaced at 12 inch maximum. Reinforcement required end ties at 4 inch water gauge or 1000 pascal and above. If we go to the following slide, we can see this table 229 giving you the framing or the angle or the channels details which was referred to in the previous slide from this table you can obtain all the related details of the reinforcement requirement and all the physical details as obtained in here based on the reinforcement class obtained from these tables of the rectangular duct uh, classification as we can see in here in this table tables starting of table 2.2 or 2.1 onwards you can see that these tables give you a reinforcement requirement by this symbol it gives you a letter this letter denotes the reinforcement classification and the following is the uh, gauge of the duct requested for these so we can use in here the reinforcement class as the entry point to get all the details for example if I'm going to use reinforcement class F, this will give you an angle details of this dimensions and it will give you a Z channel of this dimensions and it will give you a hat section of this dimensions. And in this table, table 230, which was referred to here on the reinforcement requirement, you can see in the second note, see table 230 for framing channel rigidity class equivalents going back to this table which is table 230 framing channel or slotted channel this table gives you the dimension equivalence of the channel or the slotted channel and the gauge requested based on the reinforcement class which is represented by the last column we can see also on this table here and the mm and here is in the inch it's an si and british units because in this slotted channel you have three inputs the height the width and the gauge of the channel you have the height the width and the gauge of the channel based on the reinforcement class you can obtain from the tables earlier showing you the reinforcement requirement based on the pressure classification so going back from these tables in here you can have c reinforcement classification b e d f etc so this denotes the reinforcement classification for the slotted channels so we can use it as the entry point from here to get the dimensions of the slotted channel or the framing channel.